I have disturbed all of the wildlife. Can you see the bunny? I have disturbed them all to do this video with good lighting. They are all running away. Run away, little creatures. Chapter chicks is a coming. Ew, it's all dirty. I am risking my life to bring you this review. So, I just finished, oh my god, I just finished Spirit Bound by Rochelle Mead. And let me just say, it was so good. I think in my review I worded it, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is how I felt after reading Spirit Bound. And that wasn't out of joy. That was just out of, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I cannot believe everything that happened in this book happened in this book. Um, I'm just going to tell you guys right now that uh, this is the fifth book in the Vampire Academy series by Rochelle Mead. So if you haven't read up that far, then you need to quit watching this review. Because um, I'm not going to spoil before giving warning. But um, I just want you guys to not watch it. Just know, um, know right now it's a really good series. You need to read it. And now you should stop watching. But, yeah, I'm not going to spoil in the first part, just for those of you who don't listen. But it was just so phenomenal. The story, it started off a little boring, considering where the last book left off. So, like, the last book left off at such a cliffhanger. You get that thing, you know, I'm not going to say anything. You get, you get something in the last book that's a cliffhanger. And then in this one, it kind of starts off kind of calm. It's still pretty nerve-wracking and everything that's going on, but... It starts off more calmly than I would have expected it to. So I was pretty shocked about that and I was a little bored. Not necessarily bored, but like when is it going to get to this exciting stuff that's happening. This exciting stuff that it could be doing. And um, I'm going to say it took about this long. That long for me to really, really, um, the story to really pick up. For me to really get into it. And after I got that far... I read until this in one sitting. So I went from that to this in like a couple hours. Me and Stacy were both just sitting down. Stacy's on the one before this, Blood Promise. Or she finished it last night. She's now starting this one. And it is so crazy that I literally could not put it down. I was reading it on, um, I work at a daycare now, so we have nap time. And I was trying to read it at nap time. And I read it the second I got home and got everything done. And I was just dying to know what happened. And the, the cra a crazy, crazy thing happens in the middle of this. But then it just keeps getting crazier and crazier and crazier. And I am just left with this stunned feeling like, oh my god. All of this really just happened. And, ah! Yeah, so, <laughs> that's the plot. The characters are amazing. Um, you know the main characters that would be in it. I'm not going to say anything. Because I don't want to spoil for people reading. I don't want to say any names or anything. Because, you know, I could say, like, Philip's name, even though there's not a Philip in the story. And Philip could have died. There's not a Philip in the story. The Philip could have died at book four. And if you're in book three, or book two, and then come back in book three. And if you're on book two and you just died, you're like, what? Philip's in the fifth book? So, yeah. So I don't want to say any names, just because of all the crazy things that... How oh, I just got bit by a mosquito! All of the crazy things that are going on throughout the thing. Look. Can you see the bunny? Hi, buddy! Hello, bunny! He was trying to decide if I was safe or not. 
he is the wildlife I was disturbing. And he doesn't care. He's like, you know what? These clovers are too delicious. I don't care if you're talking about chapter 6 stuff or not. I like Vampire Academy myself, so. Hello, my bunny. He's so cute. He's hopping away. Hop. Okay, anyways. The characters are awesome. I love them to death. Um, they don't have a flaw. I thought they did when I first started the series. I'm like, okay, whatever. But, wow, they're amazing. And then, really, just the creativity behind Rochelle Mead's writing is... Is that... What the... I don't like bugs. Get out of here! It's like hopping. I can't tell if it's a fly. I'm going to stand up and do the rest of this review. But, yeah, um... If you ever read the series and you know what I'm talking about, and if you haven't, then you shouldn't be watching. But, um, these vampires aren't vampires. Most vampires are, like, crazy, but there's the three different categories of vampires, which is awesome. And so it's not really, like, a vampire book, which I like. So, now, um, I really want to do a spoiler edition of this. God. I really want to do a spoiler edition of this, but... I kind of don't at the same time just because I don't really know my opinions on everything. I'm just, the only thing I can say is I'm in completely in awe at what happened. And that's pretty much the only thing I can need to say about the spoiler stuff. I'm so sad about stuff that happened and I'm so in awe that it actually happened. So, that's my spoilers. Yeah, so I'm done with this review now. Um, if you haven't checked out the Vampire Academy series, you're crazy. <laughs> if you're watching a book review channel and like to read, then this is a series for you, because it is a series for pretty much any book lover. And any not book lover, really. Anyone who likes to read will love this series, I'd say. As long as they can get past the first book. The first book wasn't 100% in my mind. So, yeah, um, I'm Jessica with Chapter Chicks. Thanks for checking out my review over Spirit Bound by Rochelle Mead, and this chapter's for you.